what is going on kid family welcome back to the channel and on today's video we're gonna be spending some time right here in this messy garage and if you guys don't know that piece right there is new and I'm gonna show you how I got that right now all right guys we found another bumper here on the side of the road by the express lanes I don't know what car it's from but we're definitely gonna take it not too much damage all right guys, we got the bumper. It fit Toyota I am guys. I'm telling you the best car ever. Thank you to my boy Mike. He's starting up a YouTube channel sometime soon. So we'll include the link once that goes through. But yeah, we got the bumper. We're gonna be going and doing some more painting videos for everybody. I know you guys love to see those. So stay tuned. Man, I swear, ever since I started hoarding stuff for this channel, these rims, all these bumpers, there's not a lot of room in this garage for anything, especially painting. So we're just going to go along and see what we can do to make the paint environment a little bit better. I also need to create something for the fans so that overspray that's being evacuated from the garage is not just being pushed out outside and that overspray particles are going on other people's cars like my neighbors, my car, or the siding of the garage or the windows of the house. Okay, so that needs to get fixed. All right, guys, these are all the bumpers that we have acquired. Um, you probably haven't seen these two bumpers right here. This one I found by a gas station. This, this is a really beat up bumper, as you can see. It is cracked in multiple areas. Half of the bumper is missing. Clear coat is peeling. This thing has seen better days. This is from like a early or mid 1990. 2000 uh, Toyota Corolla and then this one is the newest one. I'm not exactly sure what kind of car this is from and uh, Yeah, we got the Mazda 3 front bumper Not sure Toyota Pontiac GA GT and then we got this uh, sure where this is coming from, but this needs to get done as well A lot of imperfections right here If you have not seen my video revealing and talking about the track light tire setup and the wheel specs on this, go ahead and check this out. We got more videos coming on that. Got these wheel adapters or wheel spacers, whatever you want to call them. I never recommend these. I got a video, and I'll link it in the description. Check that out. You'll know why I don't recommend these. Alright guys, we cleaned out a lot of the dirt that was on the ground already. If anybody knows how to remove these kind of stains, my, my old man is pissed about this. I think I'm gonna just paint black for my next paint job just to make these things go away. But we got everything cleaned up in the garage. The floor is nice and clean. The problem we are facing right now is all of this right here. There's dust contamination going down on the paint. So back in the day, I even remember I had some garbage bags taped up as you guys can see. There's there's some residue of garbage in it that I had on top, put some nails on it so the dirt wouldn't fall on the car. Um, but yeah, we're, we got some paper here, um, painting paper, masking paper, whatever you want to call it. We're going to try to mask this whole area off where we're going to be painting. So clearly I painted right here last time. So I'm going to try to cover everything probably starting from here get all this masked off i definitely want to utilize these lights so i'm going to mask it off up to here so we got a good probably about a 12 feet of masking area 12 by maybe 15 so let's get started
okay, it's not looking too bad. We're gonna have to support the midsection, make sure it's not sagging like this. And the lights are obviously underneath, so we're gonna have to make sure we cut them out precisely so we get that light we need to see what the hell we're gonna paint. All right guys, there it is. I cut out the lights so we can see much clearer. At first I thought I can get away with the lights being under the little plastic cover, but there's just not enough light output. We got this little light here and we got this little light here. I just don't like this light because the calve in between these is much different. You know, these are the bright whites. This is like a 6K, this is like a 4K. This again is probably like a 5K. So they're just clear, bright, and gives you a realistic color of what you're painting whereas these are the 3000k so they're more yellow sunshine and look but it kind of throws off the color when you're painting but anyway this came out pretty darn good i used some c-clamps on top to hold it down and some tape so we pretty much got a majority of it covered i mean we didn't get it all the way up to here but that's fine we can just maneuver our paint area a little bit closer here so it's directly under that now, as far as the fans, I did have three. Now I'm gonna be working with two. And as you can see, there is a lot of yellow paint that goes in and out of this area and going on the whole car. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to install a filter. And the filter I'm gonna be using is just some kind of cloth right here that I found. It is very breathable, but it is gonna be able to catch some of that overspray. At first, I was thinking about just taping it over here, but what I'm gonna try to do is unscrew the gate right here for the fan and try to screw it in right over here. Now, some people might wanna say you want the filter before it hits the motor and the fan, but that way, it's just gonna be, that, that filter is just gonna be getting sucked in, and I don't think I'm gonna have enough ventilation for the garage. So I prefer, I don't care about the fans that much. We got them for a great price. So I'm gonna actually put the the cloth on the outside so even though that fan is pushing that cloth out it's never gonna get stuck in the motor and the main concern is the overspray that goes out over onto the vehicles and everything else so let's check it out So I thought that would be perfect, but as it turns out, we are not getting the exhaust flow that we wanted. There's too much restriction in this material. And don't get me wrong, look, this material stretches. It's not that bad. Over here, the air is pushing back right around the edges of the fan. It's coming back out this way. And in the center, it's coming out that way. So this is just too much restriction. Kind of bummed about that because I thought this was a cool, clean setup like that but clearly it just won't work it won't give us the ventilation that we need especially now that we're running only two fans not the third one so my other idea would be just go from the outside tape it off like this tape it off on the top and bottom and then it won't restrict the airflow as much but it'll still catch majority of that overspray so at this point i'm taking everything off i did try to make a bunch of relief cuts in the paper just to get some of that airflow going and that did not benefit it at all it's still restricted way too much so let's stick with the other plan like i mentioned before and let's do it let's get it into it all right guys for the most part this is going to be the final product we decided to go with the cloth on the outside we do have enough ventilation out here plenty of ventilation it's not kicking air back and then we're gonna have the cardboard right here to catch all that overspray i mean for the most part th this cloth will catch all the overspray but if there's excessive overspray on the bottom this is gonna catch it and i do have enough room for the third fan uh, right now that fan is borrowed so that's why we're just doing it on the two fans right now this is the newest way to dry your pets
everything's chilling garage is cleaned up we got most of the lighting i might throw another light right here since we got the middle light we got one on the right we might have one right over here this looks good i tucked it in as much as i could so that's gonna help with the dust coming down and that's about it you know obviously the floor is gonna be wet when the time comes to paint i might uh, put some more plastic on some of these pieces depending on where our valuable stuff last time i just sprayed everything how it was but uh we got a little bit of complaints from the owners here in this garage so thank you guys for watching hopefully this next paint job that we're planning on doing it's my buddy's front lip off his bmw 335xi he has like a sick 500 horsepower uh, bmw so we're gonna paint his lip because he cracked some of the paint off of it you know it's so low he's he's chipping and, and scraping so we're gonna try to refinish that with the rust-oleum paint job so stay tuned for that video guys don't forget to like subscribe to this channel for more content and thank you for watching peace i ain't here for the money i ain't here for the fame though it might be nice to own a jet plane i'ma do it all for you come along